Uh, yeah, welcome to my equal solving section. So this is called maximum number of occurrence of a substring. So given a string S, we need to return the maximum number of occurrence of any uh, substrings under the following rules. The number of unique characters in your substring must be less or equal to max letters. So this is a uh, trouble one. And uh, substring size must be between mini size and max size. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe let's see. There are max letters two, mini size three, max size four. Okay. So uh, and the answer is A A B, right? Because A B there are two A A B. Okay. So. The idea is that, uh, so one, if you want to solve it brute force, right? You, you can iterate all the substrings with the mini size and up to max size. And just for each substring, you just count how many letters. And if it less than max letters, then you, you can store in a dictionary. Okay, and uh, if you want to do this, you need to check that the uh, time will not exist. But the only, but good thing is that this max letters is less than 26. Right? So this is actually a constant. <laughs> so this max letter do not actually do not change anything uh, in terms of complexity, right? So 26 and uh, the mini size and the max, max size also less than 26. So if you solve the proof of the, I think you only at least need, you, you can do a 26 to a cube or 26 to a power four at, at most. And, uh, and I think if you do 26 times three, uh, sorry, to a power of three, still doable. And uh, this is still doable, right? Because it's not, it says like 10, I think it's the one million, right? So so this means that if you're using brute force, you can still solve it. So you can initialize the dictionary and then you check for each, let's say you change, you define K to be the mini size and max size plus one. And then you go through the each array and then check all the conditions. The conditions that the, uh, the letter must less than max letters and uh, greater than mini size and less than max size. Okay, and uh, if it, it's in D, in D means that uh, this is the possible answer, right? And then you just count by add one. Okay, otherwise that uh, you initialize it to be one. Finally, you just return the max D values. So this is uh, just I think it's for for brute force, right? But uh, our consideration is that uh, it's still possible because. Uh, this max letter is at most 26, 26, 26, right? <laughs> or zero and 26. So uh, in terms of complexity view, uh, this can still solve these problems. Probably not, not so, oh, what, what, what is going on? Yeah, I mean, you, you can still see this, right? Okay, so see you guys in the next videos.